welcome back to my YouTube channel, Awakes Network. News headline Nigeria will split if South East Zone is excluded from the $22.7 billion loan. Ohaneze Indigbo Youth warns President Buhari. If this is your first time visiting my channel, click on the red subscription button and the notification button to keep abreast and updated whenever we make a new upload. Now the news are in full. The Ohaneze Indigbo Youth Council Worldwide, OYC, has warned that there will be crisis in the country if part of the $22.7 billion loan approved by the Senate for President Muhammad Buhari-led executive is not used to build infrastructures in the Southeast. OYC warned that Southeast exclusion with fuel crisis and political uncertainty and pushed the region out of Nigeria. This was contained in a statement signed by the President General Mazi Ogechuku Izu Guzoro and Mazi Ugo Nabuike, the Secretary General of OYC. Ohaneze said it was studying the, diligently the details of the approved $22.7 billion loan, which was meant to address the infrastructural deficiencies in the country and demanded that the government publish details of the zones that will benefit from it. The Igbo Youth Group warned that any plan to exclude Southeast from being beneficiary will send wrong signals capable of shaking the foundation and the unity of the country, as it will not augur well for the administration of President Buhari, which we support. President Muhammad Buhari's 2015 electoral promise to revive Enugu coal mine had not been formally addressed since five years ago. We present this Southeast Federal project that should be factored into the $22.7 billion loan that shouldn't be denied for any political reasons. They include completion of the Second Niger Bridge, drainage of the Imo River with establishment of Oriental Dry Seaport in Abia State, revamp of Enugu coal mine, resuscitation of Nkalago cement plant and factory in Ebony State. Commencement of federal rules approved during the validatory session of the Federal Executive Council on 22nd of May 2019, which the Honorable Minister of Power, Works and Housing had kept mom on. This federal, the Federal Abandoned Expressway approved a reconstruction and dualization of Aba Ecotec Benet Road, rehabilitation and dualization of Umah Ecotec Benet Road, dualization of Owere Aba Expressway, Rehab rehabilitation of Akoka I Okigwe Expressway, Reconstru reconstruction of Abumege Ugep Expressway, and completion of Enugu Abakalike Ogoja Trans African Highway. OYC insisted that this capital project should be factored into the $22.7 billion loan on behalf of the Southeast Zone. We are still monitoring the development of the ongoing works on the Enugu Portacourt Expressway, Onisha Enugu Expressway, and Ohofia Arochuku Rose, it said. The organization warned that tensions are already brewing up in the Southeast on the rumor that Southeast has been excluded from the $22.7 billion loan. OYC called on the federal government to publish the beneficiaries of the proposed loan with inclusion of Southeast project to dial the tension. Ohaneze noted that silence in this situation will be a provocative attempt to push Southeast out of the zone, out of Nigeria. The Igbo Youth Organization therefore called on President Muhammad Buhari to direct those involved to include the above listed abandoned federal project to save Nigeria from disintegration. These are words of the members of the OIC.
who are speaking for the people of the Southeast. And if, if I may end my opinion on this, I will, I will ask the OIC to calm down and go through the, just as I said, that they have not really know what this money is meant for. And what I expect from the federal government before now is to come out with details of what this money is meant for. Not just to tell us that this money is for infrastructure. What are you spending this money on? And where and where are these projects located? I believe if the federal government would have done that, and if the Senate would have done their job before approving this loan for Buhari, that it should come out with details, concrete details on how this money is going to be used and where and where the money will be put. I believe this will call for more accountability and it will not be raising all these doors that it has been raising since the approval of this loan. And all what people are talking and what people are saying is accountability on what this loan is used for. So that to quench all the rumor, the government should come out and address this issue. And they should not allow the youth and any other person to take law into their hands before they will start coming to defend themselves and saying all sorts of things as they like. They, that is my own opinion. Don't forget, you can also share your opinion with us by going to the comment section and type your comment there. And some other person also share their comment with us. I will be reading out some of the, the, the opinions of some persons that I have here. Someone said, we should not continue answering one Nigeria while the entire future of the country is borrowed away. The nepotistic anti-Indigbo, Biafran war, jihadist government will deliberately exclude Indigbo. One Nigeria my foot. People are angry. I believe the government can top all this by coming out to speak out and telling us what this money is meant for and where they are being used. So many people are supporting the motion that the, the Ohaneze Indigo youth are speaking up very well. And I believe with all this, we bring out accountability from this government. The other comment I have there said, have we ever been included in anything in Nigeria before? This is medicine after death. Eh, you can't really say that. You can't really say that. You can't really say that. That's why we have members representing us in the Senate and the House of Azem and the House of Rep. I believe they should have tackled this matter head on instead of just approving the loan blindly for Buhari. And now people, people, they are not leaving the fight for the people who doesn't have power much as as is expected to dazzle all this tension. Don't forget to share a comment with us and remain blessed and stay awake with our waste network. Thank you.